Welcome to iLecture Online. To solidify our understanding of how to calculate the change in entropy, we have a great little example here. So what we're doing here is we're taking one kilogram of ice at zero degrees Celsius and we're throwing it into a lake which is at 10 degrees Celsius. Now we assume that the lake is big enough so that the ice will not change the temperature of the lake. So how do we change or how do we calculate the change in entropy? Well, remember that the calculation always will come in pairs as heat is being exchanged. So the first exchange happens when the ice is thrown into the water and the heat of the water will melt the ice. So that's the first exchange right here. So ice will turn into water, so it's absorbing heat from the lake, which is giving the heat to the ice. The second thing that happens is when all, once all the ice is melted, now that cold water, which is now at zero degrees Celsius, will now be heated up by the water of the lake. So we have the cold water, which is absorbing heat from the lake. And so again, we have a pair. We have the lake donating heat to the cold water, and we have the lake donating heat to the ice. So notice here that heat is added to the ice, and it's removed from the lake. Heat is added to the cold water, and it's removed from the lake. So what happens now is that the heat that is necessary to melt the ice is the mass of the ice times the latent heat of fusion. The same amount of heat that the ice receives to melt is the amount of heat that it gets from the lake. So we put m l sub f, the mass times the latent heat of fusion for the ice, also on the right side here, which is where the heat is drawn from. So the same amount of heat comes from here as being donated here. So we can have the same numerator on both of those fractions. The denominator, however, this will be the temperature of the ice, and this will be the temperature of the lake. When the water then, once the ice is melted and the cold water is now heated up, we know that the amount of heat required to bring the water from 0 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius, so that it will be in thermal equilibrium with the lake, is going to be mc times delta t. One kilogram times the amount of heat per kilogram per degree Celsius times 10 degrees Celsius increase. Of course, again, the amount of heat required for the cold water to go up to 10 degrees Celsius is the amount of heat that must come from the lake, so we can use the very same numerator in both fractions. The denominator, however, the temperature here in the denominator will be the average temperature of the cold water, which starts at 273 and ends up being at 283, so the average will be 278. The water of the lake stays the same at 283 because it's so big, and therefore we can just put 283 in the denominator. Then, of course, all we have to do is Crank our calculator out, we end up at 1226 minus 1183 for the melting of the ice, and 151 minus 148 for the cold water to become 10 degrees Celsius. The units for the change in entropy is joules per Kelvin. And so we end up at 43 plus 3, or 46 joules per Kelvin. That is the change in entropy by taking one kilogram of ice at zero degrees Celsius and throwing it into a large lake, which is at 10 degrees Celsius. And that is how it's done.